Hi guys, today I'm here with a what I eat in a day video coming to you from a different location and I, yes, I propped Rue up there and woke her up from her nap because she was looking cute in her little sleeping bag. But if you follow my vlogs, you'll know that I recently lost seven pounds since the beginning of February and I'm really nervous to film this video. My heart is beating out of my chest. I've filmed this intro about a hundred times, so hopefully this is the one that sticks, but I've struggled with weight and exercise and my body and emotional or comfort eating for what feels like my entire life. And I'm really, really trying to get a handle on it, both for just my health in the long term, and then I'm just not happy with my body. I, I've put on a lot of weight over the past few years, about 35 pounds in the past, four years and to have lost the weight is just such a huge accomplishment to me but I say I'm nervous because I watch a lot of what I eat in a day videos they're one of my favorite to watch I always get ideas but a lot of them just are not realistic for me and diet and nutrition and body it's so it's so personal and it just I feel very vulnerable putting this out there and honest what I eat in a day when I know that a lot of the other what I eat in a day videos out there are green smoothies they're vegan they're vegetarian they're gluten-free they're dairy-free I am not any of those things and I know I'm gonna get criticism and I'm gonna take it to heart because this is something I still struggle with but I want to put it out there in case anybody else struggles with it out there and it's not like it's that big of a deal but it just feels like a really big deal for me personally and just from what I've seen online anyways I've never really watched a what I eat in a day and felt like that was at all realistic for me I know that people are gonna say why would you eat white bread when you can eat sprouted Ezekiel bread or why you know why aren't you vegetarian or vegan or you know why don't you try paleo or whole 30 this is what works for me you do what works for you and hopefully if you have any similar taste to me or if you enjoyed my meal prep videos or showing food in my vlogs then these will give you some good ideas this is what works for me it could be healthier it could be cleaner but that is not my ultimate goal. I'm happy with the, you know, macronutrients that I get in a day regarding vegetables, fruits, protein, fiber. <clears throat> But at the same time, if I want a Coke Zero, I'm gonna have a Coke Zero. If I want Fruit Loops or whatever it may be, I'm gonna have that, but I am trying to find, oh bless you, um, better alternatives for my lifestyle. And I have lost weight, I feel really good. I use my fitness pal. that is what I find is the most effective for me over any kind of diet. And just restricting my calories, because I was overeating just unnecessarily out of boredom, out of sadness, whatever it may be. And this is what really, really gets me on track. So I will have my calories listed down below if you are curious. That being said, it's not gonna be, what, what's for me is not gonna be for you. That's something you'll need to figure out on your own. But this is where I figured out um, is good for me. And I don't stick to this every single day. I don't find counting calories for me is obsessive. It doesn't consume my life. I actually enjoy it and it gives me kind of structure and peace of mind. On the weekends, if I want takeout, during the week if I want takeout, I'm gonna do it but this just kind of helps me keep things in order so yeah let's go ahead and get into it so for breakfast this morning I'm gonna be having something a little bit more sweet I really really love granola but it's so dense that you can really only or I can really only use a little bit of it so I found this granola from Special K and this is their low-fat granola which has uh, in 54 grams it has about three grams of fat versus a lot of other granolas that are closer to like eight or nine and then the calories are a little bit lower and then to supplement some of the crunch and add in a ton of fiber i'm using these all brand buds and they're like rabbit food essentially they ain't so good but they are crunchy and when you mix it in with the granola you barely notice and these have um, 11 grams of fiber in 28 grams or a third of a cup which is insane then i have some mango and strawberry and uh, zero fat greek yogurt i always have greek yogurt in my fridge i love it so i'm gonna start with my greek yogurt and as i mentioned this is zero fat it's unsweetened so you really kind of need to add your own sweetness that's why i like fruits like strawberries or frozen berries are really good too because um, they kind of melt into the yogurt and then that way you're sweetening it you can also add cinnamon so that right there is 48 grams of granola and in a serving of granola they say there is how much 54 grams so i'm gonna get to about a serving Ooh, 54 on the nose but that's 200 calories right there just in that granola so you can see how quickly it would add up then i'm gonna go in with my buds and as you can see they are like the least appetizing looking thing ever but <laughs> when mixed in with the granola you barely notice strawberries and let me try this I always see people doing it I always cut my mango like this to eat it I never really put 
mango on yogurt like this, but I thought I would today because both my strawberries and my mangoes were getting kind of old. Yellow and the red looks so good together. And voila, there is my espresso. Sweeten mine with, um, or not sweetened, sorry. I milk mine with silk almond unsweetened. So I just filmed a few videos. Now I'm getting ready to transfer over the footage, start editing and whatnot, and I'm feeling a little peckish. So I'm just gonna have some baby carrots. Normally I'd have like some hummus or guac with them, but uh, because I'm gonna be kind of distracted and editing and whatnot, I'm just gonna kind of munch on these as they are. It's definitely not my favorite snack on their own, but um, it'll just kind of keep me distracted and um, slightly satisfied until lunch comes around. So for lunch, I'm going to be having a salmon sandwich. You may have seen this in a recent vlog, but it's something I've really been enjoying for lunches lately. I've gotten a lot of questions about meal prepping fish. My boyfriend will cook his ahead of time. Where I work from home, I cook mine um, right before I eat it. So I just have some salmon fillets in here, pre-portioned, ciabatta buns, light mayo. You can always use full fat mayo, no mayo, whatever you want. And then I have spinach here, which is gonna be my side. Then a little bit of curry powder, lemon juice. Obviously, it'd be better to use a real lemon, but I don't have one. And then some salt and pepper. So I personally weigh all my food or the majority of my food on a food scale. That's how I kind of measure things for my fitness pal and just how I kind of keep track of things because it can be really hard. You know, if something says a serving is 30 grams or two ounces, I'm like, I have no idea what that looks like. So at least this way I have just a better idea and then moving forward, I'll be able to look at something and say, okay, that looks like about 100 grams. So I've got about 113 grams of salmon here. And all I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of curry powder and salt and pepper to the outside and put that in a frying pan. So for the actual cooking of the salmon, I just spray my pan with a little bit of ham here. This is the Pam coconut oil. And then I plop this sucker down. I just put like a ton, a huge handful of spinach in there. You could put garlic and other seasonings. I just kind of like it plain wilted with a little bit of salt on it. And this way you get to eat so much spinach, but when you see it on my plate, it doesn't look like much. So for my uh, curry mayo, I guess we'll call it, it's basically just mayo and curry powder. Very, very simple. Oh, shy, shysters. Hold on, stay tuned. Okay, and we're back. So I just have curry powder and mayo in there. There's no real ratio or recipe to anything I do, but that is what I put in there. And then a little squeeze of lemon juice. Lemon just goes really good with fish. Then salt and pepper. So you can really see how much that spinach cooked down. Like that was two huge handfuls. And then my ciabatta bun is toasted. If you don't like white bread, you can obviously use whatever kind of bread you like or no bread if you're a no bread kind of person. I'm a bread in moderation kind of person. And normally I kind of have a nicer filet for my sandwich that actually kind of fits on it. My boyfriend cut the salmon and he did not do a good job. But <laughs> um, that is my lunch and it is so freaking delicious. So this is one of those items that I'm going to be having as kind of my late afternoon evening snack that I never see in what I eat in a day videos. This is my friend Toucan Sam. I am having Fruit Loops. As you can see, I am measuring them out. I'm not going completely rogue. This is not me cheating. I don't cheat. There's nothing to cheat. I'm having mine with some unsweetened almond milk and people are going to say, there's better options out there. Why don't you have some fruit that's full of refined sugar? There's a bird on the box. That's not a good indicator of health. That's fine. I'm not saying that this is healthy. I'm saying that this is what I wanna eat. I'm eating it in moderation. It fits my calorie goals. I'm not going over my sugar for the day. Um, and yeah. I don't know, I have no problem with it. <laughs> also, let me know, re-milk. Do you like a lot of milk or a little milk? I like basically no milk, just like a sprinkling. So for dinner tonight, I was kind of inspired by Lebanese kind of food. What I made is kind of like, I was gonna make koftas, if you're familiar with those, but I didn't have this, I didn't wanna mess around with making the skewers or anything, so I made kofta burgers. Then I have some vegetables here, tomatoes and cucumbers. I actually bought kale. I was gonna make it into a salad, but I'm just feeling like eating the tomatoes and cucumbers plain. Then I just have some hummus. This is from Summer Fresh. They also make a light hummus if you're looking for a lighter option. I made this myself. It's just um, low fat Greek yogurt, paprika, lemon juice, salt and pepper and garlic. And for pitas, I kind of messed up. I thought that this was the pita I normally order, but it's actually 
a different pita that's about double the calories and oh pitas are in the oven hold on I just remembered okay they're not burnt but the old me would have just been like you know what screw it I'm gonna eat the entire pita new me is like okay let me cut it in half eat it with my meal when I'm finished everything then I'll determine if I want to eat more and then if I do want more I will go eat the rest of that pita so that's kind of my approach so it's kind of like a bit of a mixture and I like having like a meal where I can kind of pick out a few different things so I'm going to show you how I prep this because this is all obviously meal prep. So to meal prep, I just chopped up some tomatoes and cucumbers. I find if I don't chop them ahead of time, the less likely it is that I'm actually going to eat them. Then in my food processor, I added some onion along with minced garlic and flat leaf parsley. I will have the recipe that I used linked down below and just kind of blended that all together. It was kind of hard to blend because my food processor was kind of big. I didn't have a ton of ingredients. And then it said to soak some bread in water. So I had some sourdough bread that I used and then just added in a ton of spices cumin Sumac smoked paprika fennel seed a ton of stuff. I didn't necessarily follow the recipe with that I just kind of ad-libbed it because I had bought a bunch of spices that I wanted to try and then in hindsight I probably wouldn't have put the meat in the food processor. I found it made the burgers kind of soft Maybe it would have been better if I had actually put them on a skewer, but they still tasted so good. And then I used my grill pan. This was the longest process of the prep, but then that means during the week I didn't have any actual cooking of the burgers to do. I have two of the kofta burger type things that I made. I have some pita here. Then I'm going to put some of the hummus. And I want to get about 30 grams of hummus. Hummus is one of those things that's just like really delicious, but it's pretty dense. Fat-free Greek yogurt is such a good option for sauces and dips and things because it's quite high in protein and low in fat. Hi. Do you want a burger? For a little snack, I'm gonna be having some Halo Top. I put some fresh strawberries in there. This is the Halo Top in the chocolate flavor, which is my favorite, I think, that I've tried. It is a really kind of low calorie, low sugar option, and they just came to Canada, if you didn't already know. And I did use an ice cream scoop today, which I just wanna say I never do if I'm just eating it alone. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know. And I actually already filmed a, another What I Eat In A Day video from this week, another day of from that kind of meal prep session that I had. So let me know if you would like to see another one. I'm really excited about this. I hope you are too. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at Samantha Jane YT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Say bye. Like, why did you wake me up? Bye. <laughs>